Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new fighter request. As you can see right there, we are using Justin Gaethje in the lightweight division and we are facing Habib. Habib, who's a beast in this game. We are in the lightweight division championship match. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can survive Habib. Let's go right ahead and uh, touch gloves. Bam. We'll start things off with a head kick. Yeah, goes for a clinch. See if we can avoid grappling. And he shoots. Of course, we're going to start working. Oh, shoot. He's got me down. He's landing elbows from side control. Okay, so... Wait a minute. Up, doing a nice job of blocking those shots from the top. Trying to spin to the back. Oh my! Whoa! What? So, I'm I'm noticing something right now that I didn't notice before. What the? Look at my head damage. How quickly it's going down just from elbows from side control. Holy hell! Really? That's how it works. In half guard. Sound strike on the ground. He's posturing up here. Look at my head health. Nice punch by the Lago Do you know how many times you have to rock me on the feet? Like, do you know how many times you have to rock someone on the feet to get their head health that low? But he's able to get it that low from just gr landing a few shots on the ground. Jesus Christ. That is, even if we stand back up, I'm basically screwed. He's not even going to need to land a lot. To, holy shoot. He's got it again. Flattens him out. Ooh, not good. <laughs> I'm blown away. I'm blown away. Top control is completely broken. I'm blown away. And finally got the victory. Yeah, Joe, how's that for a flurry to end this fight here tonight? It was the one big strike that was the beginning of the end. Got the knockdown and then created the... Uh, not even sure what the heck to say. And ultimately forced the stoppage victory. So the referee made the right call. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Both fighters uh, I'm still reach. still a little bit With dumbfounded but we're facing Habib again like I knew that there were issues with the ground game I knew that for sure but I, I had no idea that you could land a few elbows from side control and completely deplete like deplete the head damage and make it look like it does when you've been rocked numerous times on the feet with all kinds of shots. I mean, you, I mean, you, like you guys remember my striking matches. I mean, you you know how many times opponents get rocked on the feet. You like you don't get head damage that low unless you've taken an incredible amount of damage. But on the ground, a few elbows, and that's crazy. All right, so I'm about to just go off on this Habib man. He's already pushing forward at me. He's probably going to shoot, but we got to make sure we do damage on the feet before he gets us to the ground. And as long as it's on the feet, we're going to try to play like Justin Gaethje. If there's anyone that's going to stand right in front of you, it's Gaethje. So we're going to do just that. We're going to brawl. Here we, we go. Let, let's take the fight to him. And he's rocked. All right, this Habib is not shooting, so do I relax and settle into striking? Rocked again. 
Alright, so try to keep an eye on Habib's head damage. I've rocked him twice now. I've rocked him twice now, and I'm I'm hitting his head nonstop. Look at where his head damage is still at. Look at his head health. And try to visually, it's just in your mind's eye compared to what it was in the other fight. It's nuts! He takes me down. Reversed. Got that one. Got that one. Got it again. Uh, no. Dude is spazzing. Let's try to get a side control. Uh, let's get up. He's trying to land knees to my body now. And he lands one to the head. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. That's a critical rock. No, we're not backing down. Justin Gaethje backs down from nobody. Ah, he's starting. He's starting. He's, he's starting the knee. The knee. <laughs> the knee thing. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna blast him. He just. He could. He could keep doing that all he wants. Rock again. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right, so as I rock him right there, I just, like, I have a big issue with the fact that, A, side control, you cannot block your head. Once they get you side control, you can't block your head. Those strikes are free, and it does that much damage. I mean, look at Habib's head. How many times did I rock him in the last round as I rock him again? His head, his head health is still higher than it that mine was in the last fight. From a few elbows from side control. I know I'm borderline bitching right now, but Jesus, I'm just my mind's blown. I didn't know that's how it was. I'm sure a few of you already knew this stuff. You sneaky, sneaky, sneaky players. Y'all, y'all already knew this stuff. I'm just going for knees. He gets rocked again and dropped. Back up. Oh. Dropped again. Man, this dude is a. Uh, a beef is getting beat up. He gets dropped. Do not brawl with Justin Gaethje. Rocked. <laughs> Just picking at him a little bit. Just picking at him. The one thing you guys will notice I've been really working on is just how to, just how to strike. Here we go. Like how to just land shots by simply finding openings. Not really using head movement to find them, but just placing shots and timing them properly. Like I'm doing right now, you notice I'm not like ducking down or leaning to, to the side over and over again. Right there, I catch him again. Just trying to find openings. And this fight's done. Oh my God, that dude got destroyed. I paid him back for that Habib in the first fight. Yeah, Justin Gaethje is fun to use. He really is. He really is. All right, so we got that dude out of there. I'm definitely going to be doing some more bitching to the developers about, about what I just experienced in that first fight. You better believe it. Holy crap. All right. Uh, next fight coming up. I'll be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. The tape for this lightweight. All right, next Ferguson up, we are facing Tony El Kukui Ferguson. Reach advantage. This is a fight I would actually love to see in real life, Justin Gaethje versus Tony Ferguson. Both guys who kind of have a similar style, not completely, but they're quite aggressive. They can take a lot of damage. They don't mind getting down and dirty. I mean, Justin Gaethje's fight versus Eddie Alvarez was one of the best fights I've seen in a while. It was really good. It wasn't technical, it really wasn't. I mean, they just they were just beating the crap out of each other. But it was a it was a pretty enjoyable fight. As you see, I'm trying to use Gaethje's block a little bit too. <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty bad at it. I'm not I'm not good at using that block at all. I just need more practice with it. All right, so we're gonna just stand in front of him and just land clean shots as he gets rocked right there. Dropped. Yeah, we just plant and place my shots. See if we can catch him ducking and stuff. See if we can make the octagon feel small. See if we can force exchanges and, and win them. Right there, he's get rocked again. Dropped. Oh my goodness, Ferguson. I know, bro. I know. He's trying to get out the way. My bad, man. My bad. I would absolutely love to play that distance game, but I got to use Gaethje like Gaethje fights. So I'm going to push you, bro. I'm going to push you. Uh oh. Oh no. Starting to throw the knees. Man, that knee would sap your stamina like you would not believe. Dude, I've not used head movement. Not one time. <laughs> I'm just trying to learn just how to just play shots. Learning about these frames a little bit more too. Like what beats what, how long the stun, the block stun lasts, how soon I can act after I've been hit. Just trying to learn all that stuff. Trying to learn how to not get not, not get frame trapped. Beautiful. Learn how to frame trap opponents. All oh, little stuff like that. I am losing stamina like a madman though. Here we see some high level striking. Great accuracy on See, if I was this guy, I would definitely play the long game. I really would. Even though it's a three round fight, I would try to play the long game. Because I'm being really, I'm being uber aggressive right now. I'm throwing a lot of shots. And my stamina is going down. He could take advantage of that. Just, I don't know if he can. He's mostly trying to focus on getting a huge counter with head movement. And I don't know if that's going to work out. Because I'm being aggressive, but I'm not really being as risky as it might seem. Rocked again. Okay. So he's starting, to he's starting to throw some moving hooks now, which is very good. Rocked. Oh my god, dude. Man, oh man, oh man. That dude is getting blasted. But 
doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. I'm trying to be first every single time. Ferguson's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat... That will make him feel like he's having strikes thrown at him just non-stop. More frequently than I actually am throwing. Oh boy needs to let his hands go, man. He needs to let his hands go. Tony Fer right there. There we go. Tony Ferguson can bang. Just let your hands go. Plant, let those hands fly. Gets rocked again. Oh, man. Goes for a takedown. Oh man. Nice. Nice. Don't do it next time though. Is he gonna eat an uppercut? Rocked again. <laughs> he ate that uppercut just as the as the as the round ended. Man, this is a gunfight, man. This is a gunfight. I'm just, I'm just standing in front of him, just blasting away with Justin Gaethje. He really does feel like Justin Gaethje. He really does. He most definitely does when you're not getting taken down and blasted on the ground. Look at the stamina difference here. Jesus Christ. Come on, Tony. You can do this. He's rocked. He's rocked. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. His chin Got a break dance with El Kukui. The there we go. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. He's gonna rock me. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. <laughs> I am being, I am letting myself open way too much right now. I just hope I have enough stamina to actually survive the rock. It's gonna suck if, if this dude rocks me and finishes me, man. Leg kicks. That, that's good. Uh oh, <laughs> it was wrong. He had battery of time. Nah, 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 nah. We're not backing down, boy. We're not backing down as we rock him again. I don't want to get on top. Rocked again. Uh. Oh no. See if we can drop him right there. Drop. Uppercut, 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 right there. Mary swung with a haymaker. Beautiful Dude, I have no stamina left. Man, the attacks keep on coming, and now he's relegated to using just one eye. So swollen now on the left side. Gate cheese strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. How about that? 
Uh oh, he got me. Duck. Here we go. And the fight's done. Wow. What a fight. What a fight with Justin Gaethje, people. I hope you guys are enjoying this one. I really do because I'm, I'm having quite the time of my life brawling with Justin. And uh, we knocked him out. We knocked him out in the third round with a straight shot. Reminds me of my UFC two days where I was like, I would just... just most, most of my fights would just end with that straight shot. Beautiful. I am quite satisfied with that. Let's move on to the next one. I will be right back very shortly. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the last fight of the day. We are using Justin Gaethje, fighter request, facing Nathan Diaz. Let's do this. Of course, we ain't backing down from nobody. Kind of a... A little bit wary about Nate Diaz, though. Nate can, f I mean, his hands can just fly. Start, start working those legs. Give him something else to worry about. There we go. What? You about to push me? Yeah, yeah, man, you lost your mind. That's not gonna happen, boy. Let's do it. Not, not Justin Gaethje. No, no. You know what, Nate? I'm going to do with no head movement. Come on, baby. I'm going to do with no head movement. Probably dumb. Probably a dumb decision, but... I'll still do it. There we go. I see these openings right there. I see it. I see that uppercut right, right there. I see it. I see that jab, uppercut, left hook. I'm going to hit it. There we go. There we go. Come on, Nate. Ah, uh, careful. Careful with that right upper. Yeah, doubling up on that jab a little bit. Again. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure I want to be on top of Nate Diaz, though. I'm just going to chill a little bit. See what he wants to do. There's a nice elbow by Diaz. Got it. Good shot to the body. Posture up. Okay. Diaz gets up again, but he looks hurt, Joe. Gaethje's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh! I see this dude pulling his shots. He's not letting those shots fly. As he gets rocked again. Man, you cannot pull your shots while you're in the pocket. Crap. Sorry about that phone ringing. You cannot pull your shots while you're in the pocket, man. He's starting to land leg kicks. Because... As he gets rocked again. Man, when you, if you pull your shots while you're in the pocket, you know, if you do that, you know, the, the, the feint, when you throw and then you block right away so the shot doesn't really come out so it acts like a strike cancel. If you strike cancel in the pocket, there's an, a, a small opening right there where the opponent can land. So you either let the, the strike go or don't throw at all. Don't do that. Just, just giving you guys a little bit of, a little bit of advice, man. Just, If you're going to pull shots, if you're going to feint, strike cancels, don't do it in the pocket when your opponent is letting their hands fly because you will sabotage your block. He gets hurt in the leg right there. 
See, he's still doing that. It's still, he's still doing it. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his part. He's got to mix up his strikes. And what I'm doing I'm, is I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to play shots in between those cancels. Oh, my God. Double that one off. His leg is completely done. See, right there. When he lets his hands go, he actually lands. I was just about to say, man. Careful throwing those shots to the body. The uppercut's right there. Y'all know Justin Gaethje loves his uppercuts, and he loves his leg kicks, too. Rocked again. Man. I might use Justin Gaethje a little bit more often, because he's, he's quite fun to use. I mean, it's a dangerous game every single time because you, you could get just you could, you could get rocked. Yeah, because he gets rocked and dropped, blast to the body. Nice. He fainted the body kick, came up with the uppercut. I like it. He's standing in front of me again. We're standing still. We're just going blast. Okay. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Punches blocked. Caught him with a punch. Damn. Man, when Nate lets his hands go, it's like it's blinding speed with these shots. Oh god, he got me. Again, dropped. Lands that head kick again. I think he caught me leaning to the left. I think that's what happened. All right. Round number three, baby. Yeah, throwing those head kicks, trying to see if he can catch me with it. Usually, I would lunge in with a strike, but with Justin, I like to come in with my block held high. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been a fish. There we go. He's trying to use the sways right now, but yeah, that's it's only going to get you in trouble, man. Shoots, shoots a gun. I like Justin Gaethje's jab. He's got a pretty nice jab. We're just, just firing it off, yeah. <laughs> you better stop that, man. You better stop that. There we go. Oh, he missed that kick. Well, got through, Joe. This shot is Call me to the body right there. He's doing a very nice 
Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Ow. 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 <laughs> Ow. Huh? Rocked again. I'm getting caught with an uppercut. Ow. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to, uh, trying to go a 50-50 on me. Uh-huh. Don't get that, don't get that body, that body kick caught. Cause I'm a, I'm, I'm a catch it next time. Uh, rocked. Bye. All right, here we go. That one is done. Finished him. Knocked him out cold. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Justin Gaethje. How often do you use him? And when you do use him, how do you use him? Do you try to use him like he fights in real life? And for those of you that have faced good Justin players, uh, Justin Gaethje players online, how do you beat him? How do you beat him? I'd really like to run into someone that used him like I did. Not, you know, just exactly like I did, just to kind of see what I would do, how to solve that problem. But yeah, there we go. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate all the support. All the new subscribers it means a lot. And I will see you guys in the next fighter requests. If you have any requests, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to bring you what you want. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, and be safe, people.